name is Ashley. I am almost 42 years old and I'm from the United States. Um, I am a mother to three girls under the age of four and I feel very lucky. I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It took me about 10 years to get that diagnosis. It was a very long process uh, for me uh, to get diagnosed with my autoimmune disorder. So I guess what first happened for me, I was a small business owner and my health really started to decline. Um, I eventually had to sell my business because I became bed bound. My husband started looking into possi possible alternative cures or things to, to help me. So we found here and and we came out really just doing a lot of research and trying to yeah find a place that could help us. Daily life for me before stem cells was extremely challenging. Biggest impact was just that I, I really got to the point where I couldn't leave my home, I couldn't leave my bed. Um, you know, I was uh, lost contact with like friends and family. I get a lot of brain fog and I would have a speech slurring and stuttering. So I think I started to st start to feel like very self-conscious and pulling away even from talking on the phone or messaging people because I realized I was kind of becoming a little bit like incoherent. You know, just the amount of pain and everything and I couldn't keep down food. Um, so I was really emaciated, uh, did not look well at all. And I, yeah, I had to give up my business and, at, you know, and, and my passion and what I love. My husband really thought he was gonna lose me. Um, we just didn't see a way out. I, I really think I did a good job of kind of hiding it even from my family and it wasn't until uh, we were like on, we went somewhere with my parents and they realized the state of me, how non-functional I had become and how much pain I was, um, that, that they realized that something needed to happen as well. I looked, um, I looked just gaunt and yeah, I gaunt and immobile. And I had no quality of life, you know, going from being active, um, I, I played soccer in college, I, I've been an athlete my whole life. Going from that and running your own business to not doing anything, um, very, very drastic. When I came back from um, the Stem Cell Institute, um, you know, as things progressed, my parents were just blown away. They just couldn't believe the turnaround that they had seen in me. They were just shocked and so happy because they thought they were gonna lose me as well. They really did. My entire family thought that I was essentially, you know, wasting away. My life has dramatically changed since five years ago. It is a complete 180. I, I don't think you could even compare them. I was so thankful that there was an like an, an escort to take you through everything because I was I was in a wheelchair that the first time I couldn't make it through the whole airport um, I was just too weak so I, the process that where you guys had set up where you had somebody take us through the whole the whole you know um, immigration and everything made it so much easier because I know that a lot of people that come here have mobility issues and disabilities and they really just need that assistance to be able to, to get to Panama. The staff has been really wonderful. Um, all of my nurses have been very friendly. The doctors have always stayed and talked to me and answered all my questions. I've always had really good email responses from everybody at the clinic. Quality of life is I think the most important thing that you can have. In, in this entire world, you know, being able to have your health is just so critically important for not only for you, but making sure that you can take care of the people and love the people around you. I would say if you can by any means to do it and just give it a shot, you still might get some gain in your quality of life. And I think that's really the most important thing.